now the Rooney Peeps and welcome back to the channel and today we're on a bit of a scouting mission if you saw the Nikon versus Sony this is the scouting mission before I did that vlog <laughs> so anyway as you can see totally different conditions today we've got low clag we've got rain mist we've got it all happening so big D's with me as well we're going to go for a little wander to see what there is around here you might know what these round here after watching that last vlog, but I haven't watched it yet because I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see what we get round here. But first one, I'm going to use this tree. Obviously, the cloud is absolutely fantastic today. I'm going to use this leading line up. The tree coming out, it's going to hide all the background with this low line mist and everything. So we are going to have a little wander up here. Because on his way up, there looked to be some trees on the top as well. So with this low lying clag, I think we're going to go up there to have a look. As you can see, there's a little tree there just popping out. So yeah, we've got it all happening today. So if you think, ah, oh, the weather's naff. Don't, don't worry about it, just get outside. Come to where there's some trees, a bit of woodland, a bit of limestone. For me, this place is about an hour away. Probably just over from where I am. So yeah, going to make the most of it today in this claggy conditions. So, hmm, moody weather, scouting, whatever you want to call it, it's a day out with a camera. Right, peeps, with this shot round here, I've done a horizontal one. That you've just seen but i've just been messing with the vertical one trying to use a bit more this limestone do sort of lose the tree a little bit but then again with this low line cloud and stuff as you can see there it is absolutely popping so big d's just taking his now he's got the tree more or less just before center you got you can just see the little hamlet down there and then all this clag but we are Slowly going to make his way up there. I did take a shot of this gate as well. Not too sure whether it works or not, but I'll bob it on anyway for you. You can have a nosey, but up here, with that tree, it just sort of, yeah. It's one of them where it's a potential image. Hence, is it scouting or is it just a day out with a camera? Comment below. them peeps just as we took that last shot the mist is gone <laughs> as you can see look we are going to walk to that there's a lot of pathway goes right to the top but there's a tree that stings out but for me it leans the wrong way so i'm not going to take that i'm going to head up onto this little bit here and see what it's like but there's a nice little sto dry stone wall i think if you turn around it'll lead us all the way down but yeah we're hoping that mist is going to come in it has Stop semi stop raining. It's a fine drizzle. So if that comes back, that might bring the mist back when we get to the top. So yeah, come along and see what's at the top of this valley. All right, peeps, as we're walking up this valley, and the reason I'm out of breath, just before we started, we had a big massive breakfast. So yeah, <laughs> try to work it off. But look up here, got some sheep on the side of this crag here. Some trees all sticking out of it. And as we walk up, look at the left hand side as well. Looks to be a rather nice woodland over there. Some nice big trees just on the edge. So yeah, we'll see if we can get in there when we get to the top. And as always, Yorkshire Dales, we've got the welcoming committee of the sheepies. So, <laughs> so yeah, when we get to the top, I'll pop you back on. Right, peeps, got to the top of the valley. And look at this for the tree. And with that diffused background, it is absolutely keep banging is this. I might have to switch to the wide angle to try and get it all in, but I'm going to try and get it so the branches will come over this side at the left and that one at the right. But I've got a couple of lone trees up here. 
on the left hand side and there's a gate into that little wood up there so yeah of course we're going to go up there but for the time being I'll bob this shot on for you next because there's lone trees and limestone all over around here yeah I think this is going to be my come to places this definitely we are going to wait for the mist to roll in as well but we're going to have a little scout up there or a date with the camera in this little woodland because it looks small twisting gnarly ones and everything up here so yeah I'll leave you with this image now Look at the viewers over there. We've got some low clag. We've got a nice twisting alley woodland tip left hand side. But I'll just come over here to have a look at these trees just to see if I can get anything around here. So let's have a look. This looks quite nice, but you just lose, you lose everything with it. That's the only thing with that one. But that one is quite a nice tree, is that? Let's have a look around here. That's is just taking that one big one there that you've just seen. Yeah, there's some little sheepies just over the hillside, just round about here. We have got one. Let's have a look around here. Let's see if we can get this to break the horizon. No, for me that's a little bit messy, is that one? Let's have a look at this one, up here. This one could work. Let's have a look, let's try and get down low. It does a little bit, the bottom end does catch, and that's nearly on the floor. So it would have to be a really wide angle, that. But there's some more up there, but we'll leave them for the time being. Of course, we're going to go into the woodland. So yeah, inside what I do when I'm scouting, or just having a, a day out with a camera as such, try to find these little, these little hidden gems. So yeah. Anyway, I'll meet you in that wood slide woodland up there. Right, peeps, look at this. Literally come through the gate. Got these twisting alley trees growing out of here. One growing out of a rock just there. Oh, this could be good. This could be really good. So, it's a case of don't we bag somewhere? Oh, there's even more. Look, all these up here. So, some on the edge. To here, look. Right, peeps. Time to dump the bag and have a little wander. Right, peeps. I haven't come too far. I know there's a group of five, but I'm considering just going on this group of three. I still got a 24 105 on. As you can see, the shower cap's now on. Gosh, this drizzle is really drizzling. <laughs> So I'm bagging it under in 5 mil, just on them three. I think as a three, it works nice. So I think with this rain as well, it might give a bit of a diffused look. This would be nice if that low line clag would come back. Because yeah, that would diffuse the background and that this would be a nice image. So anyway, I'll bob this up for you now. I'm going to go and see what this little lone tree is like above on this outcrop. Just round about there somewhere. So I'll bob this image on. And I'll meet you over there. But there's stuff all over in here. My eyes are bouncing all over the place. See where I go next. I think if we get this one to work on the edge, I will put the 70 to 200 on, just because it's got a bigger lens hood for this rain. So yeah, I'll bother this image on next for you. I have come 
over to the edge. So yeah, the only way I can do this is about 35 mil. Use this bit of limestone in front, getting quite low to get that tree separated. There is a bit of a bush on this side. So that, yeah, that sort of spoils the image as such. But yeah, another one from up here, which is quite nice. So I'll bob this on, but all around here, there's just trees and that galore. Absolutely fantastic. Got another little twisty one here. Got a group of twisty ones just down there. There's some old gnarly ones just up here. So we'll head this way and have a good nose and see what there is. Right, Pete, it's just looking, walking further on. Got all these long trees, but just talk it to Daz. This is hard, really hard, just because we're getting no separation between it. Like I mentioned earlier, if that mist were to come in, this would be ideal. Because you've got all these little, got one just here, a few down there, all scattered. But over to my left, it looks like we're now going to go into a different type of woodland. Mossy Oaks. <laughs> yeah, this place has got it all. So yeah, I think we'll head in there and see what I can get in there. Right then, peeps. This is what I mean by coming out when it's raining. <laughs> We're getting some slight mist behind here. I am at about 70 mil, just on this big tree in the front. Just, it arches over the one in the distance. You can see the voluminous green moss just down there. Yeah. This mist has just rolled in. As you can see, it's just behind us. It is a bit open up here as well. So it should come up straight in. Daz is down there taking it with this, all these oaks and stuff. But yeah, let's see what we can get round here. Cause this is quite nice. This. I think this one is gonna be my favorite of the day. I will try and get a couple of versions of this, a vertical one, just with it arching over to that one in the background. But yeah, but for the time being, I'll bob this one on, it's going to bang centre, arching over both sides and I'll, I'll see what else I can get from down here. I'll tell you what peeps, I'm just working this one area now, just where this fog is. I've come to the other side of that tree. I was at that side, that last image. This one will come a bit further around. Try and bring a bit more into it. I have actually done a panel as well. Just to get it all in, because I'm at 70 mil at the minute. But I had changing lenses, not when the weather's like this. So that lens, that was, the, the rain was really protecting that lens at the minute. But there's some more around here. But I'm just going to work this little area. Let's have a look, see what else is around here. So. The images I've got so far, I think there'll be a couple I'll bob up for you, but I'm going to have a little walk up there. Looks like some more twisted ones up there with this, yeah, with this little low line. Well, it's a low line cloud to be honest. So we're getting pissed we through at the minute, but I don't care. I really don't care. What's turned out into a scouting mission is actually a great day out with a camera. <laughs> so yeah, it's worth doing these. Even if you don't know where you're going, you're just having a, a good scout, search, whatever you want to call it. Just come out because all I'm doing is walking around now, looking for bits and bats. But this little area really has taken my fancy. There's a few more around there. Just down here, look. The, the mist looks to be coming across. So anyway, I'm going to work this scene and see what else I can come up with around here. Right then peeps, I think that's it for today. Because walking on this stuff, it absolutely buggers you. Mind you, it could have been that big brekkie we had first. <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll end with all the final images. We have come back down to the lone tree area. As you can see, we've got a nice one here. But unfortunately, all that mist has left us now. 
it has got really warm as well all at once so it's kind of time to dry everything out get a camera back in the bag and make his way back down so yeah if you enjoyed it as always please give the old thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and what do you call it do you call it scouting or day out with a camera because i think today we've had a proper day out with a camera i must admit so yeah what do you think does a proper morning it wasn't even meant to be foggy were it <laughs> no <laughs> so there you go a proper morning so yeah i'll with all the final images I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.